A look from earlier as the Nets head to the locker room. They're in no mood to let this game get away from them on their home turf. It'll be the Nets off the tip. So here's Portland's starting group. We've got Zach Levine. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Andre Drummond. Then there's Damian Lillard. And it's Butler in at the three. Harden. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Endorse some of the best stories every year involve veteran stars who were, essentially, put out to pasture by the pundits. And they're dominating. Yeah, we're in a world, VA, that moves very quickly and that seems to be obsessed with the next new thing. And take a guy like Al Horford, who for a stretch of his career, many consider to be past his prime, and then yet you see him in a new situation display the skills that have made him so successful for so long. Now here's Levine. Coming off a terrific game against New York. Pass to Drummond. Harden against Lillard. And the three off target. We played just over a minute here in the first. Lillard against Harden from deep. And Ingram is good for three. This is for James Harden's ability to quickly scan the floor and then find the right window to deliver the pass. So good, so good. And Lillard gets it to go. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Here's Harden. Drummond grabs the miss. Portland has gone 0 for 2 from outside. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Pass to Nurkic. Lillard against Harden. And Lillard gets it to go. Man, he's bringing the energy. The efficiency. I love what he's doing offensively. Brooklyn's gone 1-2 from three-point land so far. And the Blazers had been a mainstay of the playoffs for so long until last year. Yeah, B.A., they ended an eight-year streak by missing the playoffs. The franchise has had a lot of sustained success. They missed the playoffs just 15 times in their 50-plus years. And Harden, former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A., I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But postseason success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. That's good from Harden. James Harden brings tremendous versatility. He can score it. He can distribute. Whatever you need from him offensively, he can provide it. Now here's Lillard. 23 points his last outing. Let's go with a three. And it's Okiki with a rebound. The Nets have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Ingram, the pass to White. On the wing, Harden. Let's the three fly. Portland grabs the miss. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. Yeah, they were able to execute offensively in a hostile environment, which led to a lot of high percentage shots. Well, I'm sure they're still enjoying that one. You love going into a tough building, tough place to play, and shooting the lights out. Nothing like silencing the crowd. Now here's Levine, big-time contributor on offense. Just over 22 points a game. Back to Lillard. Levine with a screen on White. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. The Trailblazers rebound. Here's Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. Well, few players as consistently good on the offensive glass as Andre Drummond. A lot of those rebounds turn into points. Here's Akiki. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Indiana. Harden drawing the double team. Let's it fly. And that one hits the back iron. Portland trailing here. Pass to Levine. Good, and Butler gets the assist. Length, athleticism, the ability to work in the painted area, so important to Zach Levine. Harden against Lillard. Harden misses. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Brooklyn has gone one for three from beyond the arc. And here's Ingram outside. The shot no good. And it's Portland the other way. Now Levine. Pass to Lillard. And count 
the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Looking at players with limitless range, Grant. Damian Lillard right at the top of that list. Oh, B.A. And Lillard, he can just make it look so easy. He gets a lot of his strength on his shot from his legs. On the short list for players, you don't mind pulling up from the logo. Portland calls timeout. Say what? I said anyone want a t-shirt? Oh, yeah. I see you. Let's go. change here for Brooklyn. So Portland going with almost an entire new group here. Thompson, he's checked in for Drummond. Aldridge comes in for Yusuf Nurkic. Curry, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. And it's Morris in for Zach Levine. the trio of KD, Kyrie, and Harden Doris, they played just 16 games together when it was all said and done. Just so frustrating for a Nets organization that had positioned itself to acquire that talent. But this is a real lesson about success in the NBA. You have to maximize your windows and take nothing for granted because, boy, do things change quickly. So it's Portland now. The Nets making their last shot. Portland again missing. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's Desumu. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. I thought his physicality was crucial, too. You know, he kept the defense on their toes and repeatedly got to the free throw line. Four on the clock. Robinson Earl, no good. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Here's Lillard. There's the steal. Here's Robinson Earl, averaging around six a game. Pass to Jordan. Jordan with a screen on Morris. Here's Diallo. Here's Desumu. Back to Jordan. Jackson outside. Over Morris. Jackson can't get it to go. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Down low. The kick out to Morris. Pass to Aldridge. Back to Morris. Over to the wing. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Knocks down the long J. Lillard's got 10 points in the game. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Here's Desumu. Lillard pulls down the board. Now Portland with it. They're on a 14-5 run. Pass to Aldridge. Right side Curry. The shot from 20 feet out. Goes back up. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. So the Nets making a switch here. Shamit's checked in. Jones, he's checked in for Portland. Barton comes in for Lillard. Thompson. 
Thompson, no good on the free throw. Yeah, Thompson not really the guy who's going to punish you consistently for sending him to the free throw line. Here's Shamit. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Launches a three. Martin pulls it in. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Pass to Jones. Curry with it. Thompson with it. Defended by Jackson. The jump hook. And he can't connect. He's one for three in this game. Diallo passes to Jackson. Now here's Jordan. Defended by Thompson. Here's Desumu. And the layup falls. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. Barton outside. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. And the Trailblazers lead by six. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's the Trailblazers up six. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and looking at what we've seen from the trailblazers what do you guys think it's simple the main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense i think across the board a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions here's morris they lead by six. That's their biggest margin. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second. They've got Monte Morris. Yusuf Nurkic is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then there's Zach Levine. And it's Barton in at the three. And for the Nets, they're shooting just 28%. Lacking confidence on offense right now. Pass to Lee. Back to Ingram. Turner, a screen on Nurkic. Five on the clock. Here's Ingram. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. A go-to score. Love seeing Ingram take punishment and fight his way through it. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, guys, Jimmy Butler focuses is all on team success. In fact, his agent said whenever he calls Jimmy to congratulate him on personal accolades, like all-NBA team, for example, Jimmy hangs up in his face before he can finish the sentence. Brian for Butler, there's only one prize that really matters. Yeah, he's a rare breed, Ali, for sure. Thanks for that. Good from Butler. The people upstairs in Brooklyn have been making some very interesting moves trying to put together a championship caliber team. Robinson Earls checked in for Okiki. And also a switch here for Portland. Drummond's checked in. Butler hits them both. Are those big decisions by the Nets front office difficult to deal with as players? You know, some guys can ignore the politics, but I'm sure others do have questions at the end of the day, though. These guys just want a ball. And ultimately, I think they just roll with the punches. And then Turner with the dunk. An excellent job of reading the defense. As Ingram's court vision continues to improve, so will his playmaking. Cross is over. That shot missing. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Following this game, they host the Magic. Pass to Lee. Pulls up on the wing. 
The shot off that time. Levine with some nice D. Drummond to screen on Ingram. Levine. Portland, no good that time either. The Nets have got two of three shots to go in the second. Here's Robinson Earl, defended by Nurkic. Pass to Lee. Outside Ingram. No! They're unable to get the tying basket there. Takes a step back. Here's Morris. Counted. Morris has got his first two points. Brooklyn trailing. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. And Monte Morris is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Harden, he's checked in for Lee. Aldridge is checked in for Portland. Lillard comes in for Morris. Ingram against Levine. The shot by Ingram, no good. The Trailblazers have gotten only one of four shots to go in. And Levine, throw it down. Well, multiple time winner of the slam dunk contest. Levine has got a creative streak. Harden into the lane. Yep, count it. Harden's got seven. Well, Portland's shooting just 42% so far in the game. Aldridge with a screen on White. On the wing, Levine fires the three. Rebounded by Ingram. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. Outside Harden. Here's Robinson Earl. From outside, off the mark. Portland leading. Levine passes to Drummond. The jam by Drummond. Boy, the defense has no answer for Andre Drummond. That's what we call emphatic finish. Pass to Harden. Oh, rejected by Drummond. Now here's Butler. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against New York. Outside Levine for three. Rebounded by Ingram. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. With the 10 footer, it's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Drummond's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Outside Butler, pass to Aldridge. Rebounded by Ingram. Ingram's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside White. Three-pointer, Harden. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Drummond's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And here's Aldridge. Aldridge with a screen on Ingram. And the dunk by Lillard. Just really smart distribution from Jimmy Butler right there. He's putting a bigger emphasis on getting his teammates involved. Timeout call, Brooklyn. Most exciting fans in the building. If you want one, put your hands in the air and wave those babies like you just don't care. Now on the way to the floor, give it up for Team Height.
both teams changing it up here. And over the last 10 games, here's a look at the teams that have been putting up the most points. The Trailblazers, third. This team has been on an absolute tear offensively. It seems like they're able to find a shot every trip down. Brooklyn has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Pass to DeSumo. And the Nets miss again. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Martin, the pass to Lillard. Five to shoot. Uses the glass on the layup. Lillard's got four points this quarter. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Pass to Shaman. Now here's Jordan. Diallo on the wing. Jordan with a screen on Barton. Diallo passes to Jordan. Nice D from Thompson. Boy, well, he did everything right till he got to the rim. He needs to finish that. Here's Curry. Barton outside. And here's Curry. Fires for three. Offensive rebound. Here's Thompson. Lays it up and banks it in. Boy, absolutely no rim protection. Leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Diallo outside. Pass to DeSumo. Jordan, the screen. Will it go? Jackson on the wing. This one for three. Buries it from three. Jackson's got himself on the board with a three there. What a pretty look. DeAndre Jordan, to have that kind of touch on your pass is such a quality piece for a big man. Now here's Barton. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Here's the Sumo. Pass to Diallo. Jordan with a screen on Barton. Diallo passes to Jordan. And that one, good! Boy, this guy has run this play so many times. DeAndre Jordan understands how to read the defense. Now here's Curry. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's the three. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Diallo passes to Jordan. Diallo a screen on Barton. There's Jackson with the three. And it's Portland with a rebound. Barton outside. And he lobs it up to the rim. Come on, man. Did you see? I mean, just using his strong frame to absorb the contact and still able to finish. Wow. And so it's the Portland Trailblazers in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. And their defense has been able to bottle up James Harden, one of the league's elite scorers. Back to the game after this break. Hello, folks. Is this the halftime show? Yes, it is. And kicking it off, let's quickly look at the Western Conference standings. Taking a look at uh, Portland, 
They've been hanging around the upper echelon, playing with good energy. Feels like the chemistry is right with this team. They put themselves in the championship discussion. Let's turn our attention to that first half, which left a big deficit on the board for the Nets. Obviously, that was U-G-L-Y. It's ugly. Shooting under 30% from the field, disorganized, chucking up bad shots. Man, I'll tell you, they have to adjust their play, and they got to get better looks. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Damian Lillard. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Chumo Kiki is out there with Derek White. Then it's Brandon Ingram. Then there's Miles Turner. And it's Harden in at the one. And that's the group for Steve Nash as we begin the second half. Now here's Lillard. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. Here's Drummond. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. Well, the Nets shooting a rough 29% for the field here. Outside Harden. Outside Ingram. Harden with a screen on Lillard. Back to Harden. From deep. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Ingram's got four assists in the game. Well, the mechanics of James Harden's shooting are just so defined and on point. He gets the ball, and he's ready to shoot right away. Now here's Lillard. He's got 16. Oh! Awesome. Hammers it home. So nice. Oh, <laughs> wow. Dane just sticking it to the other team, and you can see it's motivating his squad as well. Here's Ingram. He has six. Back to Harden. And Harden gets the double team. Unloads. And the shot by Ingram, no good. For Portland, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Pass to Lillard. Nurkic a screen on Harden. For three, here's Lillard. Lillard can't get that one to fall. Since halftime, they've missed three of their first four shots. Still trying to get their legs under them. Two minutes into the second half of play now. To the inside. Elbow shot on the way. Harden can't hit. Portland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Lillard passes to Levine. There's a screen by Nurkic. Launches it. Levine can't hit. Only 20% shooting in this quarter. They need to settle down and relax a little bit here. Well, Grant, one thing Levine has done since entering the league, he's taken his strength training very seriously. No question. I mean, he can play a much more physical brand of ball now. We even see him post up with his back to the basket, converting through contact. It's just part of his overall evolution. And the Trailblazers call time here. Your, your Brooklyn Nets. Make some noise, everyone. Robinson Earl's checked in for Brooklyn. Lee comes in for Ingram. Aldridge is checked in for Portland. Morris comes in for Lillard. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Butler. Outside Levine takes a three. The shot no good. 
And Brooklyn going the other way now. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. Robinson Earl, no good. A wasted trip down the floor. That's not a good shot at all. Well, missed opportunities, and they can certainly add up. You cannot afford to take that kind of shot. Now here's Butler, giving them some good production, putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. Yeah, in the paint, Nurkic can be a monster. He's got all the physical gifts he needs to dominate. Here's Lee. The Blazers making their last shot. Outside Harden. There's the three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Well, he's still battling, doing everything possible to keep them in this game. Morris finds Butler. Now here's Nurkic. Outside for Levine. Sinks the tray. Levine's got seven points in the game. Boy, Levine's range, his consistency from three are so problematic. Levine against Harden. And the call will be against James Harden. That's foul number two for him. A great job to establish position and square up. Brooklyn making some changes. Jordan's checked in for Akiki. Jackson comes in for White. And Diallo subbed in for James Harden. Barton, he's checked in for Portland. Curry comes in for Zach Levine. Now here's Morris. Taking a look at his production. Averaging just over eight points a game. Watch the screen. Pass to Barton. Trailblazers got to hurry. Got to get up a shot. Nurkic. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Will Barton. Nurkic has gotten four this quarter. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now here's Jackson. And Nurkic with the block. Showing off the timing and awareness defensively. Better think twice before challenging Nurkic. To the middle. And Jordan comes to help. There's a screen by Nurkic. Curry with it. Jackson in his pocket. And the basket by Curry. Curry's got his second basket of the game. I think he's adding more toughness to his game. It's great to see Seth Curry stick with it and finish strong. Here's Diallo, and the Nets miss again. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Pass to Aldridge. The kick out, Curry fires from deep. The basket is good. Off the setup from Aldridge. Curry's got eight. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Time called here. The Nets decide to talk it over now. And making some changes. Shamit comes in for Robinson Earl. And it's Desunmu in for Lee.
Here's Shamit. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Jordan with a screen on Morris. Trying to get back on track. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, we've seen that a time or two for Mr. DeAndre Jordan. Nice, easy finish with that dunk. Here's Nurkic. Outside Curry. Morris outside. Shot clock at six. Pass to Aldridge. Count it. And it's Morris with the assist. Aldridge has got his first bucket in this one. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Here's Desumu. Jordan with a screen on Morris. To the paint. Releases. Again, the net score. When DJ's working the catch and shoot aspect of his game, boy, you know he feels good. Morris with it. There's 53 seconds left in the third. Pass to Barton. From the left block. And Nurkic with the basket. On the assist by Barton. Nurkic just got six points. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Rebounded by Nurkic. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Desumu. From outside the arc. That one is off. And so it's Portland up 19 points as the quarter comes to a close. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. They've got Andre Drummond. Butler out there with Seth Curry. Then there's Damian Lillard, and it's Levine in at the two spot. Harden, good on the baseline, Jay. Well, James Harden will go down as one of the great scorers in NBA history, and when he gets his groove going, look out, folks. Drummond against Turner. Drummond passes to Lillard. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Personal foul. James Harden picks one up. The officials were right on top of that one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Trailblazers. Yeah, they were so aggressive from the start. Getting the ball into the painted area. Now, they stuck to their game plan, and it paid off. Also, I just love how hard they've taken the ball to the rack. They've made a point of attacking, and it's led to them getting buckets. First one falls for him. You know, it's the production plus the leadership that makes Lillard one of the most valuable players in this league. And both free throws good for Lillard. And for the Nets, they're shooting just 33% so far in this game. Ingram finds Harden. Inside, Butler with a steal. And he drives in, and it's Butler with the jam. Boy, as a driver, Jimmy Butler is so physical, so tough. He's going to command the defensive attention. Nice drive. Pass to Ingram. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Back to Harden. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Ingram's got his fifth assist in this one. 
Lillard outside. Oh, and the jam by Lillard. And once Lillard kicks it up a notch, watch out. Flat out taking over now. Outside Ingram. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Back to Harden. The kick out to White. Three-pointer. Drops in the three. He's not always assertive on the catch, but Derek White rise and fire from three-point, and it is on target. Lillard, left side. Outside for Butler. Back to Lillard. Beyond the arc. No good there. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. And that one drops for him. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. For Portland, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Harden against Lillard. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Lillard's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Right side, Harden. Getting it to fall there. He's 8 of 15 in the game. Now James Harden's ability to finish with either hand. So crafty. Understanding how to navigate around defenses when he's in the painted area. He drops it from range. Lillard's got 11 in the second half. He's taking what he can get here. Has a three in each half. Harden with it. And Drummond picks him up defensively. Outside Harden. Down low. And it's Turner that time on the assist by Harden. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Lillard passes to Curry. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And the Trailblazers lead by 19. Pass to Harden. Back to Ingram. Fires the three. Here's Turner. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. After a brutal first half from the field, their shots are finally starting to fall. Levine passes to Lillard. Drummond to screen on Harden. The three, here's Lillard. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got his sixth rebound on the night. Harden against Levine. Now here's Harden, tightly guarded. Levine with some nice D. Ingram against Lillard. Four three. Brooklyn with the board. He needs to look to try to drive inside and get going. That outside shot is simply not there. Here's Harden. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Harden's got eight points here in the quarter. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. Timeout called. The Blazers. Diallo's checked in for Brooklyn. And also a switch here for Portland. Nurkic has checked in. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. During that break, Coach Chauncey Billups had some advice for the team. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. And Allie, thanks. And 
And here are the Trailblazers now. 15-point game. Outside Butler. Lillard outside. Launches the three. Gets the three to fall. Lillard's got 30 points. Well, because he's such a good scorer, passing windows open up for Zach Levine. Turner passes to Harden. Jacks up a three. He buries it from three. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. There's a screen by Nurkic. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Just a highly effective free throw shooter. You cannot afford to give Lillard too many looks from the charity strike. Yeah, the line with two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Both free throws good for Lillard. Brooklyn with the ball. Trailing by 17. Harden against Lillard. There's a screen by Turner. Let's it go from deep. Oh, Kiki can't hit. Portland has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Nurkic a screen on Harden. Here's Lillard. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Lillard's got 34 points. Looking to close things out. That might have been the nail in the coffin. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Now here's Ingram. Six on the shot clock. Here's Harden. And then Harden with the jam. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Trailblazers. They made the most of the extra rebounds tonight. Helped them out a lot. Now, when you look at these teams, they're both great rebounding clubs. And any night, either one could have the advantage on the boards. And this is a nice victory for them. It's win number 14 of the year. Only a two-game series, and they win both. They have to be satisfied with this. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Damian Lillard. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. Okiki down low. He's covered by Levine. Pass to Harden. Nurkic with the block. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Levine passes to Drummond. And here's Lillard. Puts it up from 12. Right side, Butler. On the wing, Levine. Pass to Nurkic. Lillard, left side. Back to Nurkic. So no problem for Portland as they get the win. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight.